to go to your device first go to settings security and just enable unknown sources just type uh, ok and then go to developer options and enable the USB debugging you can enable developer options by going to kernel version and typing that 8-9 times then you have to download this from the link that I'm showing that is fast boot and download the Lenovo recovery zip file from the link provided Just extract it and copy the recovery.img and paste it to fastboot you will get the directory after installing the fastboot from the link provided go to the root directory and paste it once you've done that just install the CD driver for the Lenovo this file is install it I've already installed it so I'm not going to do that once again then copy root super su this is the file that will help you to root your device and paste it to the root directory of your SD card do not copy this inside any folder it should be inside the SD card now go to C program files and minimal ADB just press shift and right click anywhere on the screen and open command prompt here then type the following commands ADB devices enter this should show something like this if it shows device you're good to go then type adb reboot bootloader enter and type fastboot boot recovery dot img and just press enter and now you can disconnect the device from your computer after that go to so you have entered the recovery mode now you have entered the recovery mode use your volume down key to go to backup and restore and use power key to enter the folder and then go to backup to storage SD card this will create a backup of all your stock files into your phone's SD card and once you're done with that you can go back and go to install zip choose zip from storage SD card one because this is where you pasted the copy pasted the root super su file and highlight root super su and press the power button to select it yes install root super su and it will start doing what it has to do Say it will say something like restoring files, post installation, etc. etc. and installation from SD card complete. So your phone is now rooted. You can go back and press reboot device. Just uh, say no. Now it will reboot. So after your phone reboots you will see something like this on the screen um, and you will see the super su file this means that your device is finally rooted and you just have to go to access default access and change it to grunt this will give root access to all the files apps 
that you have installed then before you flash a ROM just take a backup and the best backup software is titanium backup software just install it and you will see something like this when you run it for the first time and this is just press ok ok and then you will just type on the folder option and make a backup of your apps it's not recommended to backup your data because that can sometimes hinder the process of installing a new ROM so it will take a backup once you're done with that just make copy the backup file to your computer once done with the backup you can install any custom ROM I have downloaded this MIUI 6 custom ROM so I'll just copy this RAR file the custom ROMs will all be always be in RAR file and I'll paste it to the SD card of my Lenovo E6000 so wait for the folder to be copied the RAR file to be copied and once done you can you have to again go to the fastboot adb to the root folder again press shift <coughs> so again press shift and right click anywhere open command prompt here and again type adb device is the same command that we gave while we were going to root our device then adb boot reboot bootloader press enter and fast boot boot recovery dot img and once again after this you can press enter all the once all the processes are completed you can disconnect your device this, will, this may take some time because yeah it's, it's doing so now you can remove your device from the computer and you once again enter the recovery mode go to wipe system data and select factory reset it will ask you just say yes and it will wipe it will bring your phone to factory reset then wipe cache partition